She's a double Olympic medalist in freestyle moguls. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with Jennifer Heil. So for those of us who aren't familiar with your event, why don't you tell us more about it? Well, I'm uh, in freestyle mogul skiing. The course is about 250 meters long. It's varying pitches, uh, anywhere from like super steep to not too bad. And uh, we have two jumps on the course. We're judged 50% on our turns, 25% on our jumps, how high we go, how well we execute our tricks, uh, how well we land, and then 25% of our score is based on speed. I wanted to get an idea of what kind of specific training you undertook to prepare for the 2010 Olympics. Yeah, well, um, I mean, it was very intense. Uh, my whole life was organized around the Olympics, and I was training up to three times a day just before the Olympics, and uh, trying to sleep the other hours that I wasn't training or eating <laughs> but yeah it was intense I mean I had an amazing team so it was very focused very detail oriented we basically tried to go through every possible scenario now you were heavily favored to be a medal contender at 2010 Olympics how does that additional pressure affect your mindset yeah well it's definitely harder to win a second Olympic medal than the first time there's kind of this innocence afforded to you the first time around like oh wow you did it that you know that's great it's not the same type of expectation it was a lot harder to climb up onto that podium the second time which makes it a lot sweeter and which really I cherish. Let's take a trip down memory lane. What are some of the most memorable moments in your career? This past experience was definitely the richest moment in my career to be in BC Place with 40,000 Canadians to receive my medal. I mean, in Trino when I won gold, I didn't cry, I just giggled. But this time when I stepped on the podium, I just bawled. Um, I felt so much support and it was amazing. I think the whole Canadian team felt that support. And you know, anywhere we were in Vancouver walking down the street, we'd getting high fives and congratulations. Um, I mean, definitely winning gold in, in Torino is another, another big highlight. And um, winning my fifth Crystal Globe is probably the most satisfying moment in my career. It's a record tying for the all time most overall championships. And for us skiers, it's it's one of the most important awards um, to be able to be that consistent in a season and, and over time. So my goal has always been to improve over the years and I've been lucky to do that because of my team, because of sponsors like Marcel. What do the Olympic Games mean to you? I mean, is it all about the athleticism? For me, the Olympic Games are, I mean, it really started as a dream and it was always the excellence that pulled me uh, to the Olympic Games. The opportunity to, to push yourself and to become better and winning my silver medal it really made me realize just how amazing the Olympic Games are as a whole and to have that opportunity to go for excellence to push myself every day to be a bit better that's always been my goal thank you very much <laughs> thank you <laughs>